So if you could think of it now, if we just rub out all of that as emotion, because that is all true, of course, but we just rub it out and we just think of it like this brain, if you like, where these all little tiny networks are getting constructed, right? All little tiny networks that get constructed off of each other as, they, as you work your way down through the different emotions that you're experiencing, right? And all these networks finish up connecting up with each other. Can you see? Now remember emotion is energy in motion. Remember that? What happens is when these connection points enter up, there is now an unimpeded movement through this pathway, if you like, of a certain emotion. Does that make sense? Just like there is unimpeded pathways through your brain. It's a very, very similar construction. So what's happening now is there's these unimpeded, unimpeded motions that can flow through your soul. Now let's look at the effect of error and truth on your soul. So we just rub out these bodies for the moment because they really are just the tools the soul uses and are not really part of the conversation. What happens is we have error based, remember all error enters the soul emotionally, right? You understand that? They're all emotions. And all truth enters the soul emotionally as well, actually. So they're all emotions too. Right? Now what they do is they construct their own networks, allowing the pathway of different emotional after that point and different awarenesses and different belief systems. So what happens is we have a whole set of emotions that start entering our soul that construct a pathway that is actually sympathetic to error. In other words, we have a pathway happening through our soul because of all the damage that's happened to our soul emotionally. We have this pathway where emotions only flow when I'm in error. And the emotions of truth will not flow because those pathways are blocked within my soul from flowing. Can you see what's going on there? The emotional, the, the emotions of error create these pathways which then only allow emotions of error to flow through them. Right? So basically what will happen is I have an emotion come to me. So let's say something happens in my life and there's an emotion come to me that creates a pathway within my soul. And if I don't release it from my soul, it remains in my soul as an error. And that creates a pathway for future emotions of error to enter me. And therefore, future beliefs of error to enter me. Do you follow? follow? Okay. Now, if you can think about it like this. My soul, when I begin my emotional processing work and I begin my pathway towards God, is full of these little connection points everywhere in my soul, all these connection points where only certain types of emotions can flow through my soul, in and out of my soul. Right? And only the emotions that can flow are the ones that actually are based around m what my emotional sympathies are. And they were created through my entire life's experience. So let's say my emotional sympathy is I, when I'm a bad person, I deserve punishment. Can you see where that emotional sympathy might come from? When we're young, what happened? Mum or daddy's there saying, you're a bad naughty girl, you either go off onto your room or you get a bit of a paddywhack on the backside or for some people it's even more violent than that, right? Out with the ruler or a big stick and you get sent off to your room. So you feel the pain in your backside about feeling something that you felt which you can't feel anymore and that creates another pathway where I'm not allowed to feel that anymore so that's blocked off, I'm not allowed to do that, my soul goes in a different direction, just a new connection being made, just like a new connection being made in your brain. This new connection is being made in your soul and now I have this belief that love means that sometimes there's a justification for violence. That's my belief. It's error. But when somebody comes along, like AJ comes along, he says, you know, there is never a justification for violence. I have this feeling rise in me. No, that's not true. What if I was raped? What if I was, like, what if my child was being harmed? What if I, and I come up with all these scenarios, right, inside of myself. Where are they coming from? They're coming from this emotions 
that are causing this pathway to be the only way that I can feel. I can only feel that there is a justification for violence because I don't want to feel that there is none because if I did that I'd have to actually feel that my parents didn't love me when they were violent towards me. And that emotion is so painful for me to experience, I don't want to experience that and instead I've allowed this emotional pathway to remain inside of my soul that only the beliefs that match that pathway will I accept. So somebody comes along and says, you know, God's a punishing God. Yep, I can accept that. In that state, I can accept that. That's why, you know, why do you think there's one and a half billion ch children of God on this planet who are Christians who believe in a punishing God? Because they have this pathway being developed in their soul through all of their emotional experiences that love and punishment go hand in hand at times. You get punished for the good, for the bad, you get like pleasure for the good. That kind of experience has gone through them. This is why these religions are so acceptable because there's already an emotional pathway through the soul allowing the belief to enter. Can you see that? Right. I don't know if you've ever thought about that before. So here's this emotional pathway in this soul. I'll show you, it's difficult. Here's the emotional pathway in the soul that allows my false belief now to pass into me and get stored into me down in this little area of my soul. And it required all of these other pathways to be true before this new one could enter me. Does that make sense? This new belief can only enter me as a part of my emotional system by there being a whole previous set of events that created all these different connections that finished up leading to the point where this new belief could enter me. Right. And once that new belief enters me, it becomes a fixed part of my soul. That's an error that I think is true. I believe this truth with all of my heart, as the saying goes, and yet it can be totally in error. And the only way it could enter me was because of all the previous events that entered me and entered me through my emotional condition, creating all these connection points that are continuously growing inside of my soul. Now, understanding this is very, very important because we start to see the relationship between belief, fear, and emotions. Now remember the fear is the false expectations appearing real. In other words, it's the error looking like, emotionally looking like, it is truth. So when I make a statement, there is no justification for violence ever, for many of us when we first heard that statement, we felt very much in disagreement with that. And the reason why was because this pathway in our soul had been created that aligned love with justified violence. And we didn't want to feel, we were afraid to feel the emotion that our parents' justified violence towards us was not justified and that it was actually unloving. And we were afraid to feel that emotion because that emotion feels terrible. <coughs> when you actually connect to that emotion and feel it, it feels shocking to know that even these people who should have loved you didn't actually love you because they themselves didn't even understand love at the time that they were belting you or committing violence against you. And then there's also all these other things going on. I'm now a parent and I've actually done exactly the same thing to my own children. Wow, like how much emotion is there in that to feel? You see there's quite a lot to feel in that, isn't there? Can you see that? Now as that's happening, all this error starts to get all jumbled up, doesn't it? So what's happening now is the truth is starting to try to enter me. But you see, the soul itself has this construction where the error is easy to accept, but the truth is hard to accept. And so our soul has a deep resistance to truth. 
as a result of this problem. Right? And it has a deep resistance to the truth because of the emotional pathways that have inside of us, that have entered us through our life, that are based around errors about love.